नाउ दैट हम क्लियर हो चुके हैं वर्क फ्लो के बारे में देर आर टू आइडियाज आई वॉन्ट टू ट्राई So have you seen this music video by Ed Sheeran Cross Me? I think it's a pretty beautiful music video. There's this motion capture artist as the video proceeds you get to see all sorts of bonkers VFX happening. We are definitely not that professional with VFX and Blender, but uh, I think I've got something similar in mind. Then I came across this beautiful tutorial. It basically uses this Mixamo character works on the texture and the lighting brings out this amazing animation which is pretty cool to look at and this is what we are going to try now about mixamo mixamo is a place where you can download certain characters and their animations for free it's a pretty simple process so let's actually start off by creating a very basic animation uh, following the tutorial uh, that would help us understand the workflow and then we'll be using the same workflow to work on our own ideas so let's get into it shall we Let's go ahead and download a simple character and with a simple animation. So for character I'm going to search for bot and this is the animation I'm going to go with the ideal one. So this is how the animation looks. You can of course play around with some parameters for the animation here. Uh, but I'm going to go with the default parameters. And all you have to do is uh, click download. The format here needs to be FBX and the frames per second I think 30 should be good enough and download. So it basically downloads one FBX file which you can import into Blender. So here's Blender and to import the Mixamo character, we just need to go to file, import, FBX, select the file which you downloaded. That would be this and import. And there you have your character. Now if you bring up the timeline and play, you can see the character doing its animation. The number of frames we can change to 121. So that would give us a good rounded loop. Now let's add a camera. shift a camera let's go to the camera view zero let's move the camera i think this looks good let's uh, select the object and click w and shade flat so this actually makes it a little more low dimensional low poly as it's uh, called in blender now let's go ahead and add a modifier here is modifier and we'll add a decimate modifier here is decimate and we can play around with the ratio if we decrease the ratio the character becomes even more low poly i'm going to go with this this looks good to me let's add another modifier wireframe modifier so let's go ahead and uncheck uh, replace original and uncheck even as well let's go ahead and increase the thickness now you can see the lines forming i think that's all for the modifier part let's go ahead and play around with some materials character itself comes with a default material assigned to it we'll go ahead and delete that and now we'll create a new material for this that would be new we are going to go with the principled bstf for now and let's select the base color as something pinkish we'll actually go ahead and make it metallic let's add one more material that would be the material for these lines that would be an emission material let's go ahead and emission and let's play around with the color let's increase the strength now let's assign this uh, emission material to the modifier properties of the line so the, for that we'll go to the modifier under the wireframe so under the material offset we'll change it to 1 because that's where our material exists decrease the thickness a little bit now this looks okay change the background color to black let's go to the render view this is how it is looking right now go to the render properties our render engine would be ev and let's make sure that the ambient occlusion the bloom screen space reflections and motion blur they are all turned on now coming to the shading let's go to the shading view let's select the emission node this is what we are going to play with let's go ahead and add a color ramp let's assign it to emission now there's this very interesting thing we can do with color ramp we can actually bring out rainbow color palette into this so for that we'll just select the first one and let's uh, actually make it all the way bright let's select purple here also under the extreme here we can go ahead and select the purple under rgb hame ye hsv ko change karna hai and near to far karna hai so as you can see we have this beautiful looking uh, rainbow palette we can change the color accordingly let's go ahead and add a mix rgb node to this color ramp let's go ahead and add noise texture let's select the noise texture let's click control t that would give us this mapping node 
we don't need the texture coordinate we'll delete that and let's go ahead and add a geometry so the goal is actually to assign different colors to different specific uh, edges here for that reason we are using geometry node and under geometry we'll use uh, the normal the normal goes to the vector of mapping so now you can see uh, different colors are assigned to different faces here to make it a little more interesting let's add a brick texture the color goes to the color 2 of mix rgb let's select the brick texture and click ctrl t and under the brick texture we can play around with the scale here now you can see we have the bricks forming here we can of course go ahead and add one hue and saturation node between the color ramp and emission to control the color as you change the hue you get to see a variation of color here I'm going to go with a more simple one. I think this looks good to me. Let's go back to layout mode. Well, let's go ahead and add a background plane. For that, we'll just shift A, add a plane. Here is our plane. Let's actually rotate it. X direction 90. So here it is. Let's move it a little back. Let's scale it in X direction. Now let's select the plane. Let's go to the edit mode and let's click W. That would give us the option to subdivide. And let's subdivide it into 50 parts this is how the subdivision looks let's go back to the object mode and add a decimate modifier to it add a wireframe modifier as well so this is how it's coming out to be and i'm going to change the ratio here now you can see some weird textures ha ha happening here and we can of course play around with the thickness here replace original let's go ahead and assign a material to this plane as well so the primary material would of course be a black background so for that we'll just create a new material and we'll change the color to black make it a little more metallic let's decrease the roughness so that it gives out this mirror kind of finish now let's add one more material for the lines that would be emission material let's change the color to something more blue let's go back to modifier and under the material offset we'll change it so basically it assigns that emission material which we created for the plane to those lines but the colors are matching here so we'll go ahead and change the color and let's decrease the strength of it so now that we have our character and the background in place we'll go ahead and render the animation to see how it turns out to be so for that let's go to the output properties we'll go with the default resolution here let's change the output directory to desktop that's where i save most of the files uh, the file format would be ffmpeg video the encoding let's change that to mpeg4 that is mp4 and under the output quality we'll go with perceptually lossless so let's go ahead and render render animation and we have our first animation let's go ahead and play it this is how it looks looks cool if you ask me Now that we are clear about the workflow, ke mein, there are two ideas I want to try. One is of course being inspired by the music video, the Cross Me music video. The second idea is something more cinematic, something more 16 by 9 aspect ratio and slow motion. Slow motion for Mixamo character, we will download on 60 FPS. So that would help us with uh, a good looking slow motion shot without any drop of frames. So let's give it a try, shall we? These are the final renders I could pull off. I had fun working on the workflow and understanding. A uh, kafi straightforward and simple process hai hai. And we can actually replicate the same process with other structures as well. So I think it was a good learning. And uh, that's all for this one. I do hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.